Some constitutional scholars think the nation has entered an age of post-constitutional soft tyranny. The government is too large and is doing many things not authorized by the Constitution. Article 1 gives the federal government about 21 powers. The Tenth Amendment says the powers not delegated to the United States nor prohibited by it to the states are reserved to the states or to the people. The states are the parties to the constitutional contract that created the central government. There was no central government until it was created by the states. However, the states act as if they were created by the federal government. Almost all federal law is not the product of our elected officials, rather of the unelected heads of federal administrative agencies. These agencies operate as a fourth branch of government. Thousands of rules and regulations are issued by unelected bureaucrats bypassing Congress. <coughs> These agencies often possess legislative, executive, and judicial powers, many of which are unconstitutional. The reported national debt, again reported, is around $20 trillion. Well, that is one-tenth the actual liability of over $200 trillion, including the unfunded liabilities. Congress doesn't have the will to do what is necessary to reduce spending. As interest rates normalize, an aging population puts more pressure on entitlements it will become increasingly difficult to deal with the spending problem. The Convention of the States will be an opportunity to put a lid on spending and taxes. We need term limits for members of Congress and federal officials. We don't need career politicians and bureaucrats who continue to do things to entrench themselves. Congress will never voluntarily give up power. Mitch McConnell has already indicated that term limits will not be on the agenda in the Senate. The only way to reduce federal power, establish term limits and impose fiscal restraints and recover some of the powers taken over by the federal government is for the states to hold an Article 5 Convention of the States. Thank you very much. met like the kindest, most welcoming people who have made me feel empowered.